see how you want to get involved. But you can go to the occasions. One is the fourth anniversary of the Streaming Museum, Nina Colosi, its founder. <laughs> Almost exactly four years ago on January 29, 2008, with five screens, one in each continent. And today there are over 50 screens around the world, so that's certainly something to be celebrated. But we're also here to celebrate the first U.S. solo exhibition of Maurice Benayoun, uh, an extraordinary artist who, as we can clearly see, is bringing some intellectual rigor and thought-provoking analysis in a way that's so compelling visually and analytically. I think I would rather watch your screen for hours than watch CNN. <laughs> um, my name is Shamina de Gonzaga. I'm the director of the World Council of Peoples for the United Nations, which is an NGO associated to the UN. Uh, we collaborate with Streaming Museum and are on the board of advisors of Streaming Museum to do art projects together that relate to issues on the global agenda. I think Maurice's work is certainly emblematic of this and we're honored to participate in tonight's event and for all of you who come with your own respective expertise, talents, exciting projects, um, like to propose a toast. and. Uh, and yeah. Maurice as well. well. Thank you all so much for coming this evening. I'd like to point out a few of the people that are working on our team. Cheryl Kazan here, who is the president of the World Council of Peoples for the United Nations. Pino Baldessari, who is our business advisor. David Bates, our faithful producer. Alana Esposito, who writes for us on the arts and We're so honored that he's flown in from Paris for this event. And please say a few words, Maurice. Yes, after saying thank you for coming, I would like to thank, of course, first Nina for inviting me for this uh, exhibition and uh, this uh, exceptional venue, uh, because I really I'm amazed by the impact, the visual impact and the place where we are tonight. And uh, also, I would like to thank also the, the great team you have. Uh, they have been very supportive and, uh, and uh, they have been very efficient in all the sectors of uh, what we need in this, uh, in this kind of thing. For me, it was very important to come here to present uh, these works, mostly uh, emotion forecast and uh, Occupy Wall Screens, uh, because both of them are uh, just trying to put uh, the uh, human factor and the human dimension as a center of uh, our preoccupation. So it's not a politically correct thing, just to, uh, for people that would think, okay, I know that. 
uh, I'm pretty upset of uh, all uh, political uh, correctness in certain way. But I think it's really time to consider uh, that uh, what we apply to economy, we should try to apply it just to see what kind of uh, result we get to the human people and, uh, and to uh, human factors. So quantifying emotions, trying to forecast what they will be tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Of course, it's not about the truth. You can check. It will be different tomorrow. <laughs> so I can tell you, you don't have to. It's just that uh, for me, it's very important to have something looking like uh, Bloomberg TV <laughs> that presents you the fact to take care about people. And uh, it's probably the next source of energy that will replace oil and gas for the last uh, period of our presence on Earth. So let's think about that point. And the other one, of course, Occupy Wall Screens, is to put side by side the emotions of the places where the Occupy movement is strong, just in front of the uh, rating uh, of the, stock, the financial stocks uh, that is always interesting to compare in terms of progression and regression. Two other works are presented tonight, more as documentation. Uh, one is Neo Reason uh, in Shanghai, a big uh, street installation converting people into flash codes. And the other one uh, in Paris, it was in the Grand Palais, it's a sculpture uh, made out of the maps of the mechanics of emotions, the series of works where the other one are coming from. And this sculpture, when you touch it, you feel it as it produces infrasound, and you reveal the data that causes the relief. So it's an emotional relief of the sculpture of the earth, and not a geological relief. Relief, sorry. I have to sound French. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Very nice. Enjoy the evening. Maurice.